Hi everyone, my name is Emily Baldow and today I'm going to be presenting on premature birth. Premature birth is when a baby is born before the start of the 37th week of gestation. Um, typically, premature babies have a very low birth weight. They can weigh below 5 pounds or they can even sometimes weigh 1 to 2 pounds depending on when they're born. The earliest surviving baby was born at 21 weeks of pregnancy. Um, but it is considered very dangerous for any baby to be born even before 32 weeks of pregnancy. Um, here I have a picture of the earliest surviving baby. This baby, as you can recall, was born at 21 weeks of pregnancy. Um, you can see on the baby's right arm here that the mom actually put her uh, wedding ring on the baby's arm just to show how little this baby was when it was born. So some risk factors of preterm birth include low socioeconomic status, ethnicity, teen pregnancy, pregnancy over the age of 35, teratogens, infection, and a prior preterm birth. Low socioeconomic status can contribute to preterm birth because typically mothers um, that are experiencing low socioeconomic status can experience low income poor nutrition, poor quality of life, they can be stressed, they can be living in poverty, and because of all those factors, they might not have access to proper health care or the proper vitamins that they need to take for their baby, and so the baby and the mom might be very in a very unhealthy state, and because of that, she might experience labor earlier, or um, the baby just might have to come into this world a little bit earlier because of its poor poor health. Um, ethnicity also does contribute to um, preterm birth. They found that black women are more likely to deliver preterm. Researchers have hypothesized that this may be due to vitamin D deficiencies in black women. Um, a couple other risk factors, um, teen pregnancy. So teens are still developing themselves and they have found that um, when a teen mother gets is pregnant, her body actually competes with the fetus for nutrients. Um, and then mothers over the age of 35, they can often have pre-existing health conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity. And so some dangers of premature birth short term for the baby include jaundice, breathing difficulties, problems regulating body temperature, feeding difficulties, and then some long-term uh, dangers include cerebral palsy, learning delays, vision and hearing problems, death, and disability. Um, I took this from the Stanford Children's website. Uh, this, These are just some changes that a baby has to go through after it's born. So, firstly, the lungs must breathe air, the cardiac and pulmonary circulation changes, the digestive system must begin to process food and excrete waste. The kidneys must begin working to balance fluids and chemicals in the body and excrete waste. The liver and immune system must begin working on their own. I included this slide from, or this picture from the textbook because as you can see it starts at, um, it goes from weeks 21 to weeks 30, week 38. And if you can recall, the earliest surviving baby was born at week 21. So you can see how all of these things still have to occur from weeks 21 to week 38. Um, and if the baby is born any time in that range, there's a very high likelihood that these things didn't happen or are not going to happen. Um, so you can see sort of from this, the severity of, of having a premature birth. Um, so after the birth, what happens? Uh, the baby is going to the NICU, the neonatal intensive care unit. Um, babies are taken, are kept in a little incubator, which helps them regulate their body temperatures. Uh, they stay in the NICU until they can breathe, eat, and until they have gained enough weight to survive without medical intervention. Um, these are my works cited pages, and if you guys, um, wanted to there's a really interesting um video right here at the end of it um, which shows a baby at nine weeks so i like that video because i thought that you could get a good uh, perspective of what has to occur from nine weeks all the way to 38 weeks thank you so much for listening bye